There we go. KO the kangaroo number two. And I'll just change the name of the game on Twitch as well, so it puts me in the right category. And I think that splits the game into two parts as well. Round two. Done. Okay, nice and easy. Oh, Matthias likes games. Thank you for the follow. I didn't realise I hadn't mentioned that already. I just saw it on my laptop over there. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what KO2 is all about. And already I'm a bit weirded out. Why is escape the start button? Uh, let's just check the controls. Okay. Looks like it's already set up for a gamepad, so that's fine. The other game wasn't, so I had to go through and do it manually. Okay, new game. We've got a story this time. Can you all hear and see the game okay, by the way? Oh my god, and it's got really weird voice acting too. It's a little quiet. Turn it up slightly. Don't ever need to rest. I know what all, oh, so it's easy to see. Why is he no rapping? silly hunter will ever catch me. So, I found it you feels very rest. Rayman 2. Shh, be quiet. Stop that racket. We see Glowbox. Sure. We need you. Only you can help us. Oh my god, that voice acting. The horrible, mean, cruel hunter has started to kidnap animals again. Oh no. The hunter is surrounded by vicious henchmen. To get to him, you'll have to take care of them first. Okay. Aaron, can't you see that I need help too? <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Let me think. Have you played the latest one? Uh -huh. oh, There's some DLC it. coming out for so it soon, apparently. The developers the are going to send me a code when it launches. To move around, use the directional buttons. Press the action button to jump. You really enjoyed the it. That's good. Show you which way to go. I'm looking forward to try it out. See you soon. The coins will show you which way to go. Okay. I have played a platformer before. Wow, it's a lot more fluid than the first one. And he's got a double jump. And a roll. Okay, nice. Does he still have the ability to throw his boxing gloves? Hey, we can actually move the camera now. That's another improvement. Although, uh, up and down are inverted. That's better. That feels more natural. It definitely has a very different feel than the first game. Okay, I was supposed to be following the coins. I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention. Is that anything? Definitely feels like Rayman 2 with the pirate thing. So, Leah, Leah Brianna, is that how you pronounce it? Have you played any of the other uh, KO games? Have you played the first three as well? Like I said, I've also got the third one, but uh, I can't play it because it goes full screen and I wouldn't be able to see the chat. And there, there didn't seem to be any way of making it windowed again, which is weird. Oh, I like that detail, I like the window. Okay, let me out. Yeah, yeah, I pronounced it right. I'm usually terrible at pronouncing people's usernames. Help here. Help me. <laughs> okay, we have a human. Oh. I'll Help me. No, I'll just run away. Just one second. Big deal. The camera gives you a headache. 
Yeah, it seems like it's um, stretching the sides of the screen a bit, which is weird. Got any money? Three thousand ducats, or else nothing. Uh, trying to adjust my chair. I might try and stand up. Actually, my back's aching. Cow! Uh, Finally, the hunter is preparing oh, yeah. I remember. I remember watching Nitro Rad's video about the GBA the game and he said how bad it was. I'm sorry you had to go them. through that. You need three thousand ducats to bribe the boss man so he'll let you enter the harbor. Okay, is he basically money bags then? He's this game's version of money bags. Oh no, I skipped it. I think he just said go and talk to this guy. Where are you going? Have you got the money? <laughs> oh my god. No, I've only got one. Nitro flushes coffee, yep. You would have too if you didn't play it on a flashcard. Oh god, at least you didn't buy the game. Or at least you weren't um, suffering through it as a kid as your only game for the GBA. That would be very sad. Press the action button to talk. What's the action button? Not that one. Jump is the action button. Okay. I've been waiting for you. Cow? Have I been pronouncing it wrong? I've been calling him Kao. Hi, Beaver. Hi, Beaver. Shh. We have to be careful. Someone might be watching us. We live in peace and harmony in our forest. One day, the terrible hunter arrived. He bribed the greedy shaman who is now in cahoots with him. With his army of loyal henchmen, he captured the badgers and forced them to toil for him. I hope that you'll be able to help us and restore the reign of peace in the forest. So far, I preferred the first game. I don't now like do all this. Very well. Do you want all this cutscene stuff? Forest? Yeah, let me in the forest. Wow, what a very basic loading screen. Okay, this is more of what I was hoping for. Oh yeah, something else from Nitro Red's video. He still has this really weird stretchy neck. <laughs> I do really like that. I like seeing it in person though. That's so funny. Wow, the graphics really are a huge step up. I didn't realise how basic the first one was until playing this one. Okay. Hey, Kyle. Here's your first test. Find my friend. He'll show you how to use the nuts. Uh, do I want to know how? Okay. Are you his? You're not his friend. You're him. Hey, there's some things. I need 3,000 of them. That's going to take a long time. Okay, you can't destroy the rocks anymore. destroy the barrels oh yes but maybe you don't want to sorry if it's freezing that's me trying to adjust the window do you still get an extra life for getting 100 or i think you got an extra life for 50 right that's not fair you don't have time to get away from that hi cow pick up the nut and press the throw button to throw it <clears throat> what's my throw button Okay, throw button is Y. Throw button is the button that used to be used to be for the boxing glove. Okay, can I get over there? Am I just supposed to do it from here again? If I was supposed to be learning how to throw at different distances, I didn't exactly yeah. learn what I was meant to do. Great. Now come across here. I'm guessing is what he said. Is that a checkpoint? We don't have to manually put our checkpoints down anymore. Whee! 
Okay, you can actually hit the wall without dying straight away. That's an improvement. I found you. Oh, I didn't get all the coins. You have to go, but thanks for an awesome stream. No worries, thanks for thanks for dropping by. Have a good rest of your evening. Back to the start of the level. Oh yeah, that's the start where I, where I came out. Hey, Quang's here. Hello, Quang. We just finished playing KO1. Now we're moving on to the second game. Have you ever played any of them before? Yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, this one was a console game, actually. This one came out on the GameCube and PS2, I think. But obviously the PC version's got a lot better resolution. I'm not sure where I'm meant to go. I was supposed to be finding someone's friend from the, in that hut at the start. This one's quite different to the first game. The first one was kind of like a Crash Bandicoot clone. Um, I'm playing these today because the developer sent them to me. As they've just been released on Steam. Ah, I need to go this way. But I'd been thinking about checking them out anyway, so when they emailed me I said, yeah, I've always wanted to try them. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. They were developed by a Polish company. Like a independent company in Poland. Okay, I love the f I love the way his neck stretches. I think that's so funny. And Ko One and Two were console games, but the third one was, as far as I know, the third one was not only exclusive to the PC, but it was actually exclusive to the PC in Poland. Which is really weird. I don't know where to go. Yeah, I thought KO as in knockout because he's he's uh, obviously got boxing gloves. But the characters in the game call him Kao. Which I guess is maybe just more fun to say. Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go through there now? Have I unlocked that door somehow? Oh, okay. Apparently, B is unlocked doors. Sure. Press the action button. I remember. Yes, you showed me just a second ago. Where am I supposed to throw it? At them beavers. Okay, watch out. Uh, is it going to fall over? <laughs> Are they just going to swim off and pretend nothing happened? Let's try it again. There we go. That was weird. I'm really impressed with the production quality on this game. Oh! You can't go in that water. Even the official Twitter account called him KO. When the DLC for the new one comes out, they're going to send me a code to that as well. So I'm interested to see um, how much of an improvement the new one is. This one's definitely a lot slower than the first game. This one's a lot more open, open environments. Okay, we've got to go in the barrel again. Jump on the green button to open the gate by pressing the action button, then the roll button. You can also use a combination to attack an enemy. Don't forget that there are some enemies that you can only fight like that. Okay. Weird whispering B that tells you what to do. Whee. I just wanted to see what that did. Okay, we did it, but let's get in the barrel first. Go and collect these coins. 
I don't know why this water kills you, but none of the other water does. No bombs in these ones. Ah, yep, there's one. There's no way to avoid them either. The fighting's a lot more satis satisfying. Not exactly indie. Oh, okay. Tell us a bit about the developers then. I only did a, a little bit of research. The new KO got three or four different physical releases in Poland with different goodies. That's good. I'm guessing it's quite a big title um, in Poland then. I like how he uses his ears to, to climb. I was expecting this one to feel like a rip-off of Rayman 2 from the videos that I've seen of it, but it feels pretty unique. It doesn't really feel that much like Rayman. Unless you get a hover ability later on. They're using the nostalgia. True, but I think it it's something they wanted to make as well. To. Oh, maybe I can roll into them like that. I haven't tried using that attack yet. Let's try this. Oh, maybe that's a better way of breaking the pots without being blown up. Okay, that's a lot easier. Ah! Give me that heart. Yeah, Quang, what did you read about the developers? Are they quite a big team? Are they quite established? Ah! Published by Titus. I don't know who published this one. Didn't Titus make, make a really, really bad mascot and platformer? Like on the Game Boy Color or something. Or PS1 maybe. Um, okay, what are you doing? Is that what you want to do? You're still kind of trapped. Yeah, Titus the Fox. <laughs> I guess it's only the same idea as Kayo the Kangaroo, except maybe the execution is a little better. Uh, okay, he's turned the water wheel. That's not how you pronounce my name. Maybe I should just leave you trapped in there. Okay, got anything else to say? No, it's just gonna <laughs> half float off in the balloon and then just disappear. Nothing over here. The first one was a Dreamcast game too. I've never seen it anywhere. Did it come out in the UK? I was saying earlier while we were playing the first one, the only game similar to that that I've got on the Dreamcast is one called Magnetic Neo. Or Super Magnetic Neo. Which I'd like to try out at some point, because I haven't really uh, properly played it much. From what I remember, it's kind of a Crash Bandicoot clone. Okay, I'm not allowed to attack the porcupines at all. Okay, this area feels like Rayman 2. Am I allowed in this water? Okay, I'm allowed in this water for some reason, but not the other water. I feel like I'm not really supposed to be down here, but I'll get all these goodies anyway. You're just meant to come down here if you fall down, I guess. 
Oh, okay, that was my mistake. Is that plant gonna do anything? No, apparently not. Oh, why, why are they all bums? And I don't have any long range attack like I did in the first game. It actually feels very different, apart from the main character. Pretty much everything else. If you put the two games side to side, you wouldn't be able to tell that they were related. I don't think so. See you. Oh my god, the voice acting so awkward. On the meadow of I swear he's the same person doing the voice. Badgers who take great pleasure in trampling my fine shrooms. Break them up and head them toward the lodges. And how, pray tell, shall I do that? <laughs> oh my god. The actor. It's child's play. Just jump on the back of Mama Badger, the biggest one in the herd, and drive her. The rest will follow her lead. As you wish. I'll do my best. Whoa, 27 people made the first one? Okay, now it's not so impressive. That game felt like it was like a five-man job or something. Right. What am I aiming to do here? Destroy the mushrooms? Um... Is that working? I'm pressing all the buttons and nothing's happening. Do I need to go in this tunnel? No. Nope. Oh, have I got to herd them into the tunnels? What is this? Twilight Princess? Go in there. Yay. Okay, no sort of fanfare or anything. Well, I hope I'm doing this right. They don't need to go in specific ones or anything, I hope. Right, last one. Go in there. Okay. Thank you, cow. Oh, that's what he was on about the mushrooms for. Apparently having them walking around stopped these from popping up. Let's get these first. Oh, you can't climb on that. In the first game, you could climb on vines like that. I'm shocked that there were so many people who worked on the first one. Uh, anywhere else to go? I guess not. Run, run! The grid bear is coming! Oh no, not the grid bear. Okay, that's the end of the level, apparently. And I missed a few Cow, things, Cow. but never mind. To get away from the bear, you have to collect the bonus speed ups. The coins will show you which way to go. Okay. I would have figured that out anyway. <sighs> wow, okay, this is much improved over the first one. And I don't need to do that weird jumping glitch to <laughs> to go faster. Okay, that was easy. Okay, that was hard fine. There was a really weird mechanic in the first game where you actually had to put your own checkpoints down. You had to decide where to put them. Which is kind of difficult to, to decide in advance. Where am I going to die? Hmm. 
Maybe I should put one here. Uh, I missed one. I missed a whole bunch. So I went the wrong way. Can't break them ones. Um, Titus are best known for the Amiga ST racing games, Crazy Cars, Fire and Forget, and Platformers, Blues Brothers, and Prehistoric. Ah. Yeah, I only knew them from Superman 64. And maybe Prehistoric? But yeah, I don't really know much about the Amiga or the ST, really. Press the what? Press the action button. Press the throw button to throw the boomerang. You can only carry 20 at a time. Okay, let's try the boomerang. Press the step aside button. Step aside button? What's the step aside button? Is that the step aside button? Oh, that is. Okay, cool. What's that really weird sound effect? Ugh. Ugh. I know what to do. I didn't know there was a lock on the mechanic, that's cool. It actually feels really nice to play, it's all very responsive. Is there anyone in there? No one in that one. Wait, what's the point of a boomerang that doesn't come back? Why give me a boomerang? Why not just use the boxing gloves from the first game? Checkpoint. I'm guessing I can't go through there yet. Come on, I'm small enough to get through there. I should be able to even just roll underneath it. Look at that. That's cheating. I don't understand why sometimes you can't go in the water. It's not even that deep. I guess he can't breathe because his head doesn't go under the water. Oh my god. Juggling. Is this Vex? Oh, that's another game I'd like to play again at some Run point, Vex. Me. Did anyone watch and ever play Vex? V-E-X-X. -X. It was a really good Mario-style 3D platformer. Well, I say really good. It was competent. And I enjoyed it at the time. But you could juggle the enemies to do, like, crazy combos. It was really fun. By acclaim, if I remember right. Okay, where do you want me to throw this? I didn't even know what I was looking at then, apparently. You don't even need to aim. You can just stand there and smash them up. Yeah, I really want to play Vex again. It's been way too long since I've played that. There we go, we've got some new platforms. Not sure what the stars do, but I keep finding more of them. Maybe they're like a currency or something? Because the coins are used to give you extra lives, like Mario style. I guess it wouldn't really make much sense if the uh, coins weren't currency. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that. Thank you, Cole. I'm free now. Uh, I won't be forced to dig crystals no more. You could have just walked off anyway. <sighs> okay. Have they done any other games outside of the KO games? Because there was a big gap between the third one and when the most recent one came out. Ow! 
Ah. So they must have been doing something in between. There is some weird platformer platform movements going on. It seems a lot easier than the first one, in general. Quite a lot more forgiving. And a bit slower paced as well. Oh, they did the Urban Triangle games, I like them. Not heard of Steel Rats. Be really careful. Okay, have you got anything else to tell me? Be really careful. Why would dynamite chase me? Okay. Don't question it. Don't get eaten by a piranha plant. Where's this evil dynamite? Oh, come on. I should have been able to grab onto that. Do double jumps just to be safe. There's the evil dynamite. Okay, it's literally a stick of dynamite with legs. Okay. Come on then. Ah! Almost. I'm sure this was something straight out of um, Rayman 2. I remember being chased around with a missile and you have to go and blow up a crate or something. Ah! Can I not get rid of these? Okay, ah! Oh, going the wrong way. Okay, come on. No! How big is this hitbox? There we go. Done it. The levels end so abruptly. Go! Come here. Help me. Go! Two at once. Don't jump off the edge. Oh no, they're dead. Oh no, they're not. Okay, explain that. How does adding extra balloons onto the bridge make it collapse? Weird, why is there no music in this section? Oh my god, don't give me a chance to move. Why do I feel like I should find Mumbo Jumbo down here? Oh, I would love to replay the Banjo Kazooie games at some point as well. Pressure. I still don't know what any of these things do yet. I don't think there's any lives in this in this game either. Okay, the bridges don't get set on fire like the first one. Whee. I'm still a bit creeped out the fact that there's no music in this level. Did they just forget? It feels like they should be. Apparently I'll need to get 3,000 of those um, purple shard things. That is going to take a while. Oh, I thought I missed them. There's two more. We're nearly there.
I wonder if there is any... Uh, there's kind of collectathon elements. I was wondering if there was a book like Spyro. Or at least it's not Donkey Kong 64 levels of collectibles. That game's extreme. I do like collect collector fans though. I quite enjoyed um, Clive and Wrench despite all its jankiness. What did it say? Take the flying helmet. Take the flying helmet. Press the action button quickly to rise up in the air. Okay. How fast do you want me to press it? Does it mean the jump button? Let's try the jump button instead then. I don't know why it said action button when the action button for the boomerang was Y, but the action button for this is A. I feel like I'm supposed to be down here if I fall off. Not much going on in this stage. Is there anyone in here? Hey, there's someone here. Oh, thank you. He just gave me one random coin. to go now. I feel like I'm going around in a circle. Oh no, it's still a new area. If there's coins, I'm going the right way. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big thing to notice. Press the action button. What's the action button? Whatever you want it to be. I have to say, I probably preferred the first game. It was a lot more um, streamlined. How many of these balloons do I need to pop? I don't know what I'm trying to aim for. Seems safe. Yeah, that worked. Are we at the end of the level now? Ah, uh, slow down this stuff. Let me down, I want stuff. Not that far down. Whee! Am I supposed to be aiming for them? Or not? I'm guessing not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, When I wasn't sure if I should aim for them, I didn't hit any. And as soon as I knew, I hit two in a row. Oh, 
Oh, there's another beaver. Apparently, Hi, I'm going to rescue him. tired after your long trip. I'll take you someplace safe where you can rest. Where am I going? You're going to take me to a level complete screen. Alright, it's taking me to the campsite. Or their little Cow. den. Cow, wake up! It's time! Oh. There's a door at the end of the river that leads to the wicked magician's lair. Be very careful. The river is full of traps and obstacles. Of course it is. It'd be a pretty boring level we if it wasn't. The best of luck. Okay. Is there anything else I can do in here? I can destroy their one and only barrel. They didn't care. They're just all whistling. Can you hear them whistling? Hold on, let me turn it up a bit. That's all they're doing, just whistling. Ooh, if I find a secret. Oh wow, that's nice and colourful. Is this the way I was meant to go or not? Is this their pet in the back garden? I don't know whether I'm meant to be going that way. Let me just double check what's on there. Oh, okay, you can't get back out there anyway. Okay. Wow, I really like the graphics when you come out of this cave. Look at that! This belongs on the Dreamcast. I believe it's perfect. Am I supposed to try and destroy him? Probably not. Why is there a footprint on the side of the wall? Where did that go? Come on. Go away, giant ducky plant. I need 3,000 of them. I haven't even found 100 yet. This game must be massive. Ah, oh, why can't I go in the water? Why am I allowed in some water? Again. Oh, there's no life, so it feels like there's no consequence for dying in water. Whereas in the first one, there was massive consequences. Because if you died in the first one, if you used up all your lives, it was straight back to the beginning of the game and there was no saving. That's how you old school that was. I wonder if the Dreamcast one even uses a VMU one, if there's no saving. Maybe it doesn't do anything. I'd be curious to look up the review scores for these games. Oh wow, I got an achievement. I didn't expect there to be any achievements. Oh. Okay. Traps. I like the fact that you get a double jump. No, there wasn't a double jump in the first game. It makes the platforming a lot less stressful. Windows GameCube. Oh, I didn't know it was on the Xbox. What are the uh, average review scores like for the console versions? Jump onto the. Jump onto the pontoon. Lean to the left and run to turn. Okay. Oh, weird, that's not like right in the barrel. <laughs> I want to keep playing, but I'm tired now. I'll do a few more levels. I've only been streaming for an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes. Oh, I thought I could jump out then. I don't know why. I have to wait until it's parked up. Pretty average scores then. Ow. 
feel like the levels are just a little bit slow. Hey, if you don't mind, have a look at the score for the first one on the thing first. See how that compares. A lot of people probably prefer this one, but I actually think the first one was a bit better. Now you jump further. I can jump further. Oh, cool. No, it is like Rayman. That's a weird way to unlock it. Ooh, ouch, Nintendo Power really didn't like it. I want to read their review and find out why they hate it. I'd say a six is fair. Sometimes it's good just to play a nice average game. Not everything needs to be a Where are you going? Are you going to float off on a balloon? No, no, I don't want to follow you. I can't go that fast, wait up! Sixty-three. Oh, about the same one. I'm surprised the GBA wouldn't have scored so highly. Someone was on here earlier and they said it was awful. If you want to find out more about the games, I definitely recommend Nitro Rats videos did a few years ago. They're really fun to watch. But, um, I hadn't seen them in a long time. Other than the fact that they flushed the GBA game down the toilet because it hurts it so much. Parts of this one just feel a bit torn out. Get out of there! The water is coming! Quick! Before the wooden pillars fall! Oh, I knew there would be a reason why they were here. Yay, I'm safe. falls really fast. Oh my god. Okay, I can't go that way then. Let's just keep going around the bridge. I want to read Nintendo Power's review now and see what they thought it was so terrible. It's pretty basic, but it's definitely not a 2. 2 to me means unplayable. Unless there's something horribly wrong with the GameCube version. Oh, come on. I thought I was on the other side there. It is a bit of a shame there's no consequence to dying that sort of thing. There may as well not be a life bar. A weird camera angle. Why did it turn like that? Ah, oh, I pressed jump then and nothing happened. Oh, no, I get reset. Oh, back. I 
I do have the third game to play as well, but I'll have to wait until next time to play that. Because for some reason that game can't run in windowed mode. And at the minute I haven't got two monitors. So I wouldn't be able to see what was going on on Twitch. I'll save that one for a future stream. Ah, I jumped again and nothing happened. Playing this has just made me want to watch more Nitro Red videos. I might do that later. I've been watching a lot of Super Derek RPGs, if you know that channel. He's a really great channel, obviously. Covers RPGs, but I just love the way that he structures his content. Ah! Again! What is wrong with that? I'm going to have to jump super early. But yeah, I've been on a bit of a Super Derek RPGs binge recently his stuff. Unhappy console gamer. I've been trying to get a few ideas for my own channel. Because I want to try and start mixing things up a little bit because it's beginning to feel a bit samey. Week after week. So I want to do something to make it a bit more exciting for me to keep making videos all the time. And hopefully in turn make it more exciting for people watching because I don't want people to be bored. So, hey, if anyone watching's got any ideas for what I could do on my channel to make it a bit more fresh, a bit more exciting, let me know. Oh, why is the jump button not working sometimes? I've got a few ideas, but I don't really want to share it just yet. I might post something over on later in the week. Because basically, yes, finally, I, let me jump. After next week's video, I've done all of the sponsored videos, all of the videos for other people with all the stuff that they sent over, so I can finally start thinking about doing my own content again. And I'm going to say no to sponsor deals and, and game reviews and things for a while because I want to kind of figure out what I want to do with the channel without the stress of making things for other people. For a bit, anyway. I'm sure I'll go back to that at some point. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Now I can carry on. Oh god, this level is long. I've also hired an editor for my next video because I'm on holiday next week. So I'm really curious to see how that's going to come out. Send it over tomorrow. Because I'm going away with Friday. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I don't think there's any way of attacking them. This level is way too long. It could have been half the length, please, though. Another purple gem. <laughs> Sonic time. Why are they not lined up properly? benefit to doing so. There's some more. Oh, 
apparently that's the this end of the level. The end of the road for you. What if I climb? No further. Go no further. I'm invincible. My mirrors form a magic barrier that nothing can penetrate. You are too puny to break them. <laughs> Why does every 3D platformer have these boss fights which are on weird cylinders with fixed cameras? Money. Money. Why is he shouting money? Am I actually hurting him? Supposed to just throw the boomerang from inside here, right? Am I supposed to be aiming at the statues? Let's wait for the green bits to come out. Is he doing anything? Help! Chat, any ideas? There's no obvious weak point. Oh my god, oh my god. Maybe I need to ground pound in there? Oh, okay. Things to do. Okay. Oh, that sound effect is horrible. I did not think it's a ground pound. I thought it was highlighting something to do with the dragons in the background. Sound effect, honestly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's not how a boomerang sounds. I don't think. Anyway. Or how a kangaroo sounds. 
my god, the amount of damage the boss does to me is like negligible. The only way I would actually die is if I fall off the stage. And there's hearts everywhere. Like, why even bother about being hit by that purple light? Okay, now mash the attack button. And repeat. Okay, maybe I can see where Nintendo Power was coming from with that 2 out of 10. You may have defeated me, but they're defeated all us. Me. You can't beat them all. Huge shipment of animals together. Really soon. I it's need not more quite on animals. the same level as Mario Sunshine, is it? Not quite. Double, boss. I'll get right on it. It has more cutscenes than Mario Sunshine. Hi, cow. I see that you still don't have very much money. Not much. I just overheard the engineer saying to the hunter that he was setting off to the winter world to pick up a shipment of animals. If you hurry, you might be able to catch the train and hide in it. Why? To get more money or to save the animals? Where's he going? He's the guy. Oh, I can go through here now. Cool. Beaver teaches you to jump rope. Each button on the controller stands for one of four figures. Beaver shows you the sequence of figures which you have to What's perform. Press the action button to start. Get uh, ready, get set, go! Get ready, get set, go! Uh, am I just meant to be just pressing the arrows? What for? I'm doing it. I'm jumping the rope. I thought I was going to the next level. You did it! Uh, okay. Do I get anything? You did it! Was there any reason to do that? A huge shipment what? of animals together. Oh really my God. soon. Maybe this game isn't as good as I was. Expecting. I need more animals. We already saw this. Double Why did I watch push. this? I Go and get right on it. Jump a skipping rope. And then I could watch this again. No, I did not want to do it again. There was no point in doing that. Really, I spent all that money to unlock that, and it just takes you to a skipping rope. Beaver to get ready, get set, go! There's literally no reason... There's no reason to play that. Oh, I've gone back too far. Beaver no! Back to the hub. I never want to see that again. No! I don't want to see that cutscene again either. What the hell is that? Why can't I break these boxes, but I can break all the other boxes that look just like it. Break these in crates. Nope. This is a weird game. I wonder what the structure of the uh, third one is like. 150, I need for that one. To enter another jump rope challenge, maybe. Very weirdly empty hog world. Not much going on. There's a bunch of these coins. I haven't seen any reason to collect them. That's not very secure, is it? I can just walk straight through there. Okay, that's just a shortcut to get back. Okay, how much do we need for this one? 200. 250. I feel like I shouldn't be here yet. So, I have to say, the backgrounds are much higher res than they were in the first game. 
not the uh, inspiration for Minecraft anymore. Anything else to do here? Just lots of empty platforms. Weird. Well, I'll try and find the next level. See whether that one's more interesting than the one we just did. Ducats for oh, is. Nothing. oh, is he asking for coins, not with purple things? Where are thousand. you going? Have you got the money? Why isn't he even looking 3, at me? No, he's, no, he's, not. Nothing. he's looking at me. He's not looking at the character. That's creepy. Where am I supposed to be going then? In here? I just took me back outside. A glass eye and an eye patch. Poor guy. Oh, okay, apparently I've got to dash onto this train. Um, accept. And now I'm in Igloo Village. Nice. The graphics are really nice, I'll give it that. Credit, where credit's due, the graphics are nice. Especially good for like 2003 or 4, whenever this came out. Careful, Gao! You can't stop where there is ice! And... Okay. I'm just gonna skate around! Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. Huh, I like that animation. And we're gonna have to play football like Spyro 3. Coin for me, random sad bear in an igloo. Is this a level or is this a hub world? I can't really tell. Uh, I don't know what button to press. a lot faster than I thought. I was supposed to be destroying that. Okay, eventually they can just it. Anything else to shoot? I think that bell wants me to pick it up. Okay! Another sad random bear. We should go and see the other one and make friends. Well, I'm glad to have a change of scenery anyway. I was getting a bit bored of the jungle after how long the last level dragged on. Ow! And this seems a little bit unique with the ice mechanics. Oh. Finally. And there's hearts dotted everywhere, so that's okay. Right, let's carry on. Again, I don't understand why they chose boomerangs. If they don't function like boomerangs. I think they were just thinking, what can we do that feels exactly the same as Rayman 2 without it being in his hands? But I did see a lot of people drawing comparisons to Rayman 2. But outside of that mechanic, it doesn't really feel like much like it, and I guess the pirate thing, so. And freeing people from cages, I guess. And maybe there's a few 
similarities. But it's not a complete ripoff, like some people made out. Uh, okay, well, I need to do it. Get up there, maybe? I'm not sure what those stars are either, that's sort of a random pickup I keep finding. Another sad pet, sad bear? Yep. It's because his fish is frozen. Why has he got a cage outside his house? Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, I didn't need to go back around again. Taking a lot of hits. And we've got the flying cap again. For some reason. I could have just hovered over there. I guess they can't really build anything around the hover ability because they don't know when you get it. You should definitely have it by now though if you only need 50 coins to be able to switch it on. Uh, ice skating time. Mm. And there's a lot of cannons ready to aim and fire at me. That means you can open the door. I learnt that. Now I can get in this Flintstones cart and take these out. Fine. If the crystals only un unlock those skipping rope challenges, then I don't really care too much about collecting them. Yeah, it's painfully average, really. At least the first one was kind of unique. This one's definitely as interesting. The pacing in this one is just painful. So. I think kids would enjoy it. I guess it, it was made for kids, wasn't it, really? Oh, 
Oh, he hasn't got a coin for me that time. Oh yeah, I forgot I needed to make the platforms for me. Definitely could do with better level design, or at least more streamlined design. I love the graphics, I love the animations, and it feels good. But there's just not a whole lot of interesting things to do. Saying that I agree, I agree with you. Good presentation, kind of bland levels. But I think kids would, would enjoy it. But I still think the first one is better. I wonder if the third one's... Uh, oh, what happened? Why did I die? I didn't see anything happen. I just randomly died. Okay, I'll just leave them guys. They're not causing any trouble anyway. Oh, did something fall from above? I need to watch out for all them uh, stalactites. No? It happened again. I don't even know if that's any faster than just walking. Pay attention over here, see if anything's trying to attack me. Anything there? Oh, okay, there is something there in the distance. That's annoying. Yeah, I like the fact that he uses his ears to grab onto the ceiling. They even curl up at the ends when he moves, like. So he can still punch, I guess. No, he can't punch. He can just do his tail attack. But I guess maybe, yeah, boxing gloves don't have the best grip. Uh, yeah, yeah, wait a Oh my god, I hate that sound effect. Him firing the boomerang so much. I am dead. I like the character. I like the character design. As a platforming mascot, I'd say he's above average. You are already here. You are everywhere. Oh my god, but this voice acting. <laughs> Did they just pick up random people on the street. There's no music again. Escape me! Flop the cave! 
Gosh, my escape sequence. A very slow escape sequence. Oh no, that's pretty cool. Oh no! Actual challenging part of the game. Let's do this. Nothing else to pick up on. Three thousand coins actually feels achievable. I thought it was three thousand of the purple things. Oh no! Oh no, that's not fair. As soon as it goes slightly under the water. Is it faster to roll? Maybe very slightly. Roll and jump. Is that the optimal strategy? That is not. You don't roll and jump because you can accidentally do a grain paint. Oh no, that's not fair. Now I'm not complaining about the fact that there's no lives. Is the end of that level, I guess. Um, well, no. I guess I'll keep going until I get back to the hub world. Unless this level's like an hour long. Cool, we have like a little on rails shooting section. Pinball bumper. Right, try again. You've got to be careful not to hit the walls as well. I think that was taking some damage. Causing some damage. You really can't turn very well in this. It's very slow. If you're wondering why I didn't dodge. Shorter than I expected. Does that go anywhere? Maybe that's a checkpoint, is that maybe where I come back out? Okay. Which way? There's more coins this way, so. Can I break them? No, nope, even though it looks like purple things. What was the point of having multiple paths? Because. No difference, and they take you straight back to the same area a few seconds later. I see that arrow when I think I'm near the end of the stage. I've been conditioned by Donkey Kong Country.
think we're shooting them apparently. Is that everything? I guess so. Did it. Way to go, KO. Oh, Ooh, we're excited again. Kind of looks a little bit like Sonic Adventure then. Ice Cap Zone. I would much rather be playing Sonic Adventure though. I was completely honest. Well, maybe I will do that at some point. It's weird that the music doesn't like pick up tempo or anything for these sections. It sounds so chill for what is kind of an action sequence. Whee. Whoa, whoa. Oh, come on, I was pressing jump then. That's not fair. I've got my blinds wide open so everyone can see me. I'm going to go and close them. There we go. No, the police won't know I'm playing KO the Kangaroo 2. I wonder how many other people right now are playing KO the Kangaroo 2. Let's see if we can ignore it this time and go this way instead. Oh, that was actually a lot easier. Um, hello? Is he going to come down? Or he wants me to kill this guy first? Just standing there. Okay. You do you then. You don't want to fly off in a balloon like everyone else. level. I mean, I kind of like these skating sections, but there's not much going on there. Ah, pressing the wrong button. Oh, the problem is that everything's mapped to the same button.
more action. I forgot this was all meant to be part of some escape sequence. I just wanted to get that style. I grabbed onto the end of that. Oh no, not again! Ah, oh, same place too. What not to do this time. Okay, we're done. I'm gonna end it there for now. Oh, maybe not. We got a we got a new a new gameplay style. No, it is like Sonic Adventure. Let's keep going a bit longer. I didn't have any other plans. It even sounds like a big task Uh, okay, what do I need to worry about here? Oh, cool. She's going to the rail, too. Awesome. Okay, I'm switching. I was literally just about to finish this stream and then I got onto the next level, so you're just in time to see me before I finish up after this stage. How are you doing, Susan? Oh no, didn't quite make it. Ah, why is the checkpoint not close to the rail? I thought I might get some of these purple gems to open the level bit. Do I need to like, balance on these rails? I can't tell. Janky as the Sonic Adventure Snowboard and Oh, I thinking how awkward that was, even as a kid. Next fan project, what are you working on now? Or are you not allowed to share yet? Oh my god, how am I supposed to make that jump? Oh, I do get things out of them. 
Okay, sorry. Yes. I almost feel like I should be here in the Dreamcast. Load the disc every time it makes a voice sample. Yeah, it was so bad in, in uh, Twinkle Park on Sonic Adventure 1. Every time you go into this place. went on a lot longer than it should right i know i said it already but i am ending the stream there thank you everyone for watching ko one and two with me really hope you enjoyed checking them both out thanks quang for keeping me company at the end there after everyone else had already got bored i think at that point but i did i did kind of enjoy them especially the first one and i do plan on checking out uh, two and three at some point in the future as well so thanks everyone and thanks, Skate, for joining right at the end there. All right, I'll see you all again soon. Bye.